All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa inyong lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to Gurung Pinoy. Hello, of course, sa lahat ng members ng Team Bruner. Our Let Babies for March 2023. Malapit na malapit na po ang ating licensure exam for teachers. And so, uh, full gear na po tayo. No? So, um, full speed now. We're already moving at full speed in in full gear. And of course, uh, you have uh, just seen, you know, kanina po yung ating schedule was re-live, re-live. And of course, tonight we are going to have this live discussion for final coaching 10. So again, if you are still not a member of Team Bruner, po, pwede pa rin po kayong humabol. There's Team Bruner sections A and B where you can go back to all our full-length videos since we started, uh, since that um, that was uh, since October last year. Kung gusto nyo naman pong sa final coaching lamang kayo na lahat ng final coaching videos natin as well as our classified files, we also have sections, section C and of course for our classified files alone that is going to start next week the one week live discussion for March 17, uh, March 13 until 17 at 7 p.m. We only have 300 slots and so we, we have very few slots left. Of course, it's only 500 pesos. So again, just become a member of Team Bruner and you can see all the files that we have under the classified files program. Okay, so again, member na po kayo sa Team Bruner and of course, if you are going to top the let, you are going to be receiving 100,000 pesos from Gurung Pinoy that's for March 2023 licensure exam for teachers. And of course, we are also open. We're already open for Team Skinner, 2,000 pesos only, Gen Ed, Prof Ed, and Majorship. That's only for the first 300 slots. So again, for any of your questions, just send a message through our Facebook page. If you are watching us on Facebook right now, the same pa uh, Facebook page po. And of course, if you are watching us on YouTube, just go to our Facebook page and send us a message. All right. Now, tonight's discussion, as I've mentioned, is final coaching day 10 for let March 2023. Let us all start with our opening prayer. So, samahan niyo po ako, mga kaguro. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learned. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. All right, final coaching day 10. Paki like, love, and of course, share na po yung ating video. Please do share our video so that we can reach out to more people. And again, if you are still not a member, po pwede pa rin pong humabol no? with very few days left. Siguraduhin, siguraduhin niyo pong makakapasa kayo sa licensure exam for teachers by becoming a member of Team Bruner. Okay, so hanggang mag-take po kayo ng let until the day that you take the let, we will be guiding you, we will be supporting you, we are going to be uh, supplying you with all the materials that you will be needing for you to ace and not just pass no but of course to ace to top the let all right this final coaching paki share na po ng ating video let us all start with question number one what reason will you give to justify the fact that the philosophy is a deductive rather than an inductive science? Would it be letter A? It starts from the real to the mental. Letter B, it starts with the real outside mind. Letter C, it starts from prior ideas in the mind. Or letter D, it relates external reality to mental ability. Okay, what is our choice for number one? ICC is... Okay, so again, magpa-member po sa Gurung Pinoy. Kung hindi pa po tayo member, kung kayo po ay magtitake naman sa uh, September, we have Team Skinner. Okay, what is your choice? All right, letter C, we are talking about deductive reasoning, okay? Deductive, what philosophy, no? We're talking about the philosophy of deduction, 
Okay, so what will tell you that it is indeed deductive and not inductive? Okay, so ano nga ba yung ating hinahanap? Unang-una, no, letter A mo, it starts from the real to the mental. Letter B, it starts with the real outside mind. So magparehas lang sila, magkaparehas lang po ang letter A mo at letter B. So that means eliminated na ang A at B. It starts from the real to the mental, from the real outside of the mind. Okay, and um, letter D mo, ganun da din, no? Yung letter D mo kasi is also talking about reality to mental ability. Hence, ang kumpak na choice natin dito is choice C. It starts from prior minds in the uh, prior mind, sorry, prior ideas in the mind. Okay? So, uh, kumbaga top-down approach yung ating pong deductive reasoning. Let's take a look at our slide. Okay, so yan po, no? When you say deductive, you start with an idea. You start with the theory. Top-down approach, no? That means from your ideas, from your brain, going to your specifics, no? Going to the different specific examples. So here, you start with your theory. Then you go, go down to your hypothesis. Then you observe. Then you um, either confirm or you, you reject your theory, okay? But then again, we were looking for this, no? Theory muna from mental, from ideas, going down to the specifics. Your inductive is bottom-up, okay? So, kabalik taran sila ng inductive, inductive, inductive mo naman from observation, then you see the patterns, then you give or you make your tentative hypothesis, then you theorize, okay? From, from of course, all the observations that you have, the patterns that are formed, and from your hypothesis, you can either say that I am confirming this theory, okay? So again, top-down, deductive, and of course, bottom-up, inductive. So the correct choice there is letter C. We go to number two. What variation of storytelling involves children telling a story with the use of materials, sets, and props? So this be letter A, story enactment. Letter B, puppet stories. Letter C, flannel board stories. Or letter D, lap board stories. What do you think is the right choice? For number two. Okay, excuse me lamang po. All right. Okay, number two, A. And B is, may iilang B, no? Karamihan sa inyo, letter A ang sagot. Okay, so your hints here would be materials, their sets, their props. Okay, may props, may set ka, no? May set. Kung baga may background, may backdrop. All right? And so the correct choice here would be, tumpak po yung letter A, that story enactment, no? Yung mga skit natin, yung mga play mo, stage play, no? Meron kang set, may backdrop, may design yung stage, that's what you call your set. Then, of course, you have your props, okay? So may, meron pa nga tayong costume, Okay, meron pang costume. All right, so story enactment, that would be the right choice. No? So uh, medyo nahasa tayo dito, um, most especially high school. Marami tayong skit, no? Siguro uh, kayo ay pinag-skit din ng um, uh, Florante at Laura unang-una. Then Ibong Adarna, No Limitangere, El Filibusterismo, na usually sa English, tsaka Filipino natin na subjects, marami tayo nito. Okay, story enactment. Your school play, that is your choice for number two. Letter A, uh, these are the rest of your choices. No? So, um, letter A mo po, or letter B, I mean, puppet stories, and dyan po. No? So, this one right here, that's your, or those are your puppets. Okay, so puppet stories siya. Although you might say na uh, there are props, but if you are looking at the different uh, words that we have there, like materials, the sets especially, then the right choice would be story enactment. Okay, this one is your flannel board stories. Um, it's using flannel no, as your material. Ito parang felt paper siya. And of course, you have your lap board story. So with uh, the term lap, of course, we know na nasa lap mo siya, no? nasa um, nasa, ano ba yung lap, no? Nasa sabak, no? Nasa sabak sa amin sa Ilonggo. Okay, so nasa lap mo siya. Alright, so, but the correct choice here is letter A. Letter A is tumpak. Alright, we go to number three. Which of the following comments by the teacher can likely motivate learners to try harder rather than give up on learning? Letter A, okay lang kung hindi natin maunawaan, bahala na ang Diyos sa atin. Letter B, hayaan lang nating mangunawa ang magagaling sa atin. Letter C, bigyan natin ng panahon at lalaban din 
ang ating pangunawa ng paksa. Or letter D, kapag mahirap ang paksa, mahirap ding matutunan ito. Okay, what is our choice? Number three. Mm -hmm. All right, si Sir J. R. Gutierrez Sereno. Good evening po. Good evening, Coach Mac, and to all aspiring LPTs. Just want to say congratulations in advance to all let takers this March. You are on the right path. Hashtag Gurong Tatak Gurong Pinoy. Good evening, and of course, congratulations. Sir J. R. is one of our LPTs. Okay, number three, ICCs. Okay, so hinahanap natin dito a comment that can motivate. Okay, gaganahan uh, na mag-aral yung mga estudyante kahit na mahirap. Alright? Mm -hmm. Okay, the correct choice here, of course, so the letter C. Tama po yung letter C, lalaban din. Lalaban, bigyan natin ng panahon. It takes time. Now, trust the process. If you want something uh, that bad and something that's satisfying, if you want to achieve anything in life, you have to work hard. No? So it takes time and, of course, effort. So lalaban din ang ating pag-unawa ng paksa. Hindi po pwede yung letter A kasi sabi ng letter A, uh, okay lang kung hindi natin maunawaan, bahala na ang Diyos. Pinagpa, pinagpasa Diyos na lang. Okay? But of course, so we all know that it's very important to have faith in God, pero dapat po samahan mo din ng effort no, from your from your end. Letter B, hayaan lang natin mang unawa ang magagaling sa atin. No? So, hayaan na lang, ibigay na lang sa mga magagaling. Yan yung sabi na letter B. Letter D naman, kapag mahirap, mahirap ding mat matutunan ito. Um, although it's right, but of course, um, resignation na ito. Kung baga, you gave up. Okay? So, let Letter C, ang ating tumpak na choice. Okay? Laban lang kahit iba ang gusto ni Crush. Sabi ni Sir Raymond Patoy. Alright? So, tama yan, no? Laban lang, laban. This is very applicable to all of you. Okay? Laban lang. Malapit na malapit na. Alright? We go to number four. Situation. In a multiple choice test item with A, B, uh, C, and D as options, and with C as the correct answer, out of 50 students, nobody chose A. Five chose B, 10 chose C, and 25 chose D. Which is the most effective distractor? Letter A, A, letter B, B, letter C, C, or letter D, D. Okay, we are looking for the most effective distractor. Distractor. Okay, I see letter D is. Okay, letter D, letter D for question number four. We are looking for the distractor. Now, when you say distractor, it is not the right choice, pero napaka uh, posible niya, no? napaka pani paniwala. Parang siya pinaniwala ka, no? So, he is or she is a very effective distractor sa inyong love life, sa inyong buhay, okay? So, hindi siya tamang choice, pero kapani paniwala. Yan pong ibig sabihin ng distractor. And so, ang tumpak na choice dito is letter. Letter D, okay? Letter D, of course. Kasi sabi, although letter C ang tumpak, uh, sasampu lamang yung nakakuha ng letter C, no? So, letter A, walang nag-choose. Letter uh, B mo, 15. And letter D mo naman, 25, no? So, that means uh, letter D ang ating pinaka-effective na distractor, alright? And so, the correct choice is letter D for number 4. We go to number 5. On learning def deficiencies, what is known as a learning disability in number operation, letter A, dyscalculia, letter B, dysgraphia, letter C, dyslexia, or letter D, dyspepsia. Okay, so uh, alam na alam nyo rin to, yung mga medyo allergic dito, alam na alam nyo to, no? palagi nyo sinasabi na ko, meron ako nito. Mm -hmm. Nga medyo allergic sa computation, sa math. Mm -hmm. On learning deficiencies, what is known as a learning disability in number operation. Number operation. All right. Ang tumpak na choice here, of course, would be letter A, dyscalculia. Dyscalculia. All right. And so remember, you have your specific learning difficulties, so umbrella term siya, for all the different types of learning difficulties that you have. Dyslexia, your choice C, of course, this pertains to reading. No? So nagkakabaliktad yung mga words if you are, or mga, mga letters. So if you have seen every child 
child is special or um zari tari zaman parno i cannot remember the the um, uh, indian the indian uh, title but in that movie si uh, si ishan no si ishan yung ang ating bida ay meron dyslexia okay so dyslexia sabi niya uh, the letters are dancing okay so nagkakapalit-palit yung letters all right so that's dyslexia letter c dyspraxia your uh, wala pa lang dyspraxia dito no this is developmental coordination disorder so this pertains to your motor skills motor development naman siya Attention deficit, of course, you know this, your ADHD, kitikite, very short attention span. Dyscalculia, we were looking for this in item number five. No? So um, your number of operations, American disability with numbers, with calculations. Visual stress, hindi mo nakikita maayos yung mga bagay-bagay. And of course, you have your uh, ASC or ASD, no? uh, autism. Okay, autistic spectrum. Okay, so ito naman would be for social, no, social, um, social interactions more with people. All right, but of course, uh, the correct choice here is letter A, dyscalculia, dyscalculia. Dysgraphia is pertaining to writing. Okay, so writing naman siya yung dysgraphia. All right, so letter A po, ang ating tumpak na choice, yung dyspepsia po ay kabag, di ba? Tama ba? Kabag siya, no, in, um, in Filipino, yung hindi ka uh, makaburp, yung masakit yung chan mo, parang bloated ka, no? The dyspepsia. Alright? So, ito yung um, nakikita nyo naman sa mga advertisement sa TV, no? Yung uh, pamedicine na. Alright? So, number five, letter A, ang ating tumpak na choice. Hindi po disgrasya. Alright? We go to number six. Uh-huh. Okay, may tatanong dito later na po, babasahin ko. Number six, which contributes to balance in sexuality in male and female? Letter A, myelin sheath. Letter B, blood vessels. Letter C, hormones. Or letter D, chromosomes. Uh, okay, basahin ko lamang po. Um, Sir Lita Aquino, if you are a member of Team Brunner, there's no need to pay for the classified files. No? So kasama na po siya as members of Team Brunner, ABC, uh, there's no need for you to repay. Unless po gusto niyo magbayad ulit, eh, hindi naman po kami maghihindi. No? But Mom Lita, no, hindi po. Uh, kasama na po yung inyong membership na included na po yung uh, ating classified files. Now, my question kanina, if mag um, jo join po ba ako sa Team Skinner, may, meron yata tayong kaguro na sa September pa mag-detake, no? meron po kayong 50% discount, so mag-send lamang po na message sa ating Facebook page. Okay, letter D's or C's? Aha, okay. Mukhang dito ay medyo merong mga naguluhan. Okay, so number six, which contributes to balance in sexuality? Yung pinaka-importante um, pong term dito is sexuality. Sexuality, no? that means um, how you form the different uh, sexual characteristics that you have, especially the secondary sexual characteristics, no? the, the um, narrowing of the, the waist sa babae, the um, deepening of the voice sa lalaki, no? so paglaki ng dede sa babae, for example. Okay, so which contributes to the balance here? Would it be letter A, myelin sheet? Letter B, blood vessels? Letter C, hormones? Or letter D, chromosomes? Ang tumpak na choice po natin dito is letter C. These are the hormones. Okay, I hormones, sabi ni Sir Marky B. Mali ako, ha, ha, ha. Okay lang po, at least natuto. All right, although we have uh, the differences between the sex chromosomes, medyo naguluhan siguro yung iba sa atin, although um, merong difference sa sex chromosomes ng lalaki at babae, remember, as humans, we have a total of 46 chromosomes. 46. Apat na put anim, no? Lumalabas yung po yan sa let. Out of these 46, your 44 chromosomes are your body chromosomes or what you call your autosomal chromosomes autosomal or body chromosomes, 44. Dalawa lamang po out of 46 are your sex chromosomes, okay? 
And sa babae po, yung sex chromosomes natin would be XX, dalawang X chromosomes. Sa lalaki naman po, XY. No? So baka kaya medyo naguluhan yung iba dito. Pero yung hinahanap kasi natin dito, hormones, because the question pertains to the sexuality. Sexuality, not the genes. no Not the genes, not the gender, but the sexuality. That means um, your secondary sexual characteristics. And so hormones po yung ating hinahanap. All right? So these are the different hormones. If you can remember, sa inyong biology, now you have your, uh, sa male po, meron tayong testosterone. Okay, so uh, this is produced by the testes. And of course, this stimulates the male secondary sexual characteristics. Paglabas ng Adam's apple, pag deepen ng voice ng mga lalaki, pag yung, yung, uh, yung mga pubic hair, etc. Of course, no? And sa um, babae naman, you have two, no? That's the estrogen and the progesterone. Your estrogen is produced by the ovaries. Progesterone is produced by both the ovaries and the placenta. Your estrogen stimulates uh, the secondary sexual characteristics in female. It repairs the walls of the uterus and controls ovulation. Yung ovulation, ito po yung pagkahinog ng ating egg cells na sa mga babae. Yung progesterone mo naman, this prevents the wall of the uterus from breaking down. Okay? So, uh, if you are a bio major or a gen sci major, alam nyo kung saan banda ng inyong, sexual, ay, ng inyong menstrual cycle, tumataas yung estrogen, bumababa yung estrogen, tumataas yung progesterone, and so on. Okay? But the correct choice, of course, would be uh, letter C, you know, hormones po ang ating hinahanap. Oh, uh, we've talked about your chromosomes. Bakit hindi chromosomes? No, yung ating pong sagot. Your myelin sheet, yung uh, uh, choice A nyo naman po, ito po yung covering ng ating neuron. No? Yung neuron, yung nerve cells mo. Cells sa ating utak, cells sa ating nervous system. No? Myelin sheet, ito kumbaga yung nagpoprotekta sa ating neurons. Yung inyong blood vessels naman, ito yung daluyan ng dugo. Now remember, you have three types. So we are blood vessels. Your... Um, vein, your arteries, and your capillaries. Now, remember yung hint natin. If it uh, brings blood away from the heart, that would be your artery away. If it brings blood back to the heart, that would be the vein. And if it forms networks between those two different types of blood vessels and where most of the processes sa ating body ang nag-occur, that would be your capillaries. No? So gas exchange, the exchange of the different gases. No? Capillaries po yan. All right? But here, let us see hormones ang tumpak na choice. Okay, we go to number seven. Oh, Sir Rico, ano po? Nagsasuffer daw si Sir Rico. Siguro po kailangan yung i-refresh or hindi ko alam kung bakit, no? kung bakit nagbablack yung screen. Okay, uh, sa PC, sa Chrome down, nagbablack talaga, kaya mobile na lang, pang live discussion, sabi ni Sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, sa ibang review center, chromosome yung sagot. And so that means mali po yung ibang review center. No? So uh, kaya ko po palaging sinasabi na advice sa inyo, wag na po kayong um, maligaw. Minsan kasi uh, imbis na makatulong ay nakakapagpahap pahamak pa po sa atin. Okay? So, makinig dito sa Gurung Pinoy. Be faithful, parang relationship, no? And of course, trust Gurung Pinoy. Okay? Trust us. Alright? So, um, wag pong makinig sa iba. Minsan, eh, uh, nakaka-blurry pa no, ng inyo pong mental process. Nakaka-confuse pa. Uh, the annexes, I see your uh, questions. So, annexes po, we will be talking about that on Monday and I will be uploading a copy sa ating pong, sa ating pong groups. Alright, number seven on classroom activities, the following are appropriate for learners who have good logical mathematical skills but not include letter A, storytelling, letter B, number games, letter C, experiments, or letter D, calculations. Um... Facebook user, nagbablack yung screen. Okay. Maari pong nasa sa PC daw po. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. No? Baka may problema. Nagiglitch siguro yung StreamYard no? sa um, personal computers no? sa PC. And so, um, tawag dito. Try niyo po mobile, ma'am or sir. 
uh, diagnostic and need review, i-reopen ko po by next week. Very good, Mother Mamet. I-discuss din po bang classified files? We will talk about that on Monday. No? So classified files tayo, mabilisan po yung ating discussion because we'd want to discuss as many items as possible. So what I do is questions, answers, no? or meron din namang questions, then choices, pero mabilisan po yung ating discussion. No? That's the last stretch. Diba? Last five days natin ang pag-discuss. Okay, number seven, on classroom activities, the following are appropriate for learners who have good logical, mathematical, mathematical skills, but not to include letter A, storytelling, B, number games, letter C, experiments, or letter D, calculations. Sir Jet Rider, I see you. Di yata ako maka-comment sa PC, sabi ni Sir Jet Rider. Alright, I see a lot of letter A's. Letter A's for question number 7. We are looking at um, not a characteristic of your logical mathematical skills. You remember uh, from Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences theory, iba't iba ang klase, ang type ng intelligences. So sabi dito, ito ay good sa logical mathematical uh, skills, no? sa mga uh, merong intelligence na logical, mathematical, but not including what? So we are looking for the exception. And so the correct choice here is letter A. Baka meron na namang nabulag at hindi nakita yung not, ma. Uh, basahin po maigi yung ating questions. Alright? So, number seven, your choice would be letter A. Not including storytelling, number games, experiments, calculations. These are all part of your logical, mathematical. Logic and mathematics. And storytelling mo would be belonging to your verbal linguistic. Verbal linguistic. So, that would be the right choice for number seven. Okay? Now, remember, you have the different types of intelligences, balikan po natin for the benefits of those na medyo uh, lost pa, no? so medyo blurry pa sa inyo ito. Meron po tayong walo dito. There's a total of nine, no? nine different uh, types of intelligences. According to Howard Gardner, I will be talking about the ninth later. No? But here, you have the first eight. Visual, spatial, ito yung mga taong uh, magaling sa visual and of course sa uh, use of spaces. Okay, so artists sila, mga engineers, architects, merong common question sa let with regard to this. Ang question na uh, saan sila magaling, no? graphic organizers, magaling po sila dyan. Okay, linguistic verbal, no? ito yung ating kaninang uh, pinag-uusapan na verbal linguistic although ito ay math na no? but when you say verbal linguistic ito yung mga matatas magsalita no? your speakers, your politicians, your English teachers declaimers, orators okay? so verbal linguistic yung kanilang type of intelligence okay, logical, mathematical muna tayo, logic and mathematics, di ba? calculations, math, numbers magaling sila dyan, musical of course, as the name suggests magaling sila sa musika, okay? Yung singers mo, composers, your conductors, na? so these are yung mga mapping majors natin uh, may, meron dito. Bodily kinesthetic, ito naman yung mga mag, magagaling gumalaw, yung mga athletes mo, dancers, na, yung mga nagpapantomime, na? so mapping teachers pa rin ito, bodily kinesthetic. Naturalistic, ito yung mga plantito, plantita, okay? So, ito yung mga may green thumb, tayo wala, no? ako wala nito. Okay, so they they are one with nature, they like taking care of uh, mother nature, they like planting, they like taking care of, of animals, for example, yung mga uh, fur parents natin dito na din sa naturalistic. Ito, pinahuli natin because these are opposites, no? interpersonal and intrapersonal. When you say intrapersonal, this would be self-smart. Okay, you know your yourself very well, you are very intuitive, you always ask yourself, you always reflect, no? yung mga intrapersonal um, intelligent natin. So, ito yung mga uh, religious persons natin usually, no? pare, madre, yung mga... Um, 
um, philosophers, di ba? Ang interpersonal mo naman, uh, they are people smart, okay? So they are very sociable, they're very good with dealing with people. Now, the ninth would be existential, no? Existential naman, ito yung mga taong palaging nagsisik kung ano yung purpose nila in life, no? What is my purpose in life? Why do I exist, no? So existential intelligence yan. Usually, walo lamang po yung naka-include dahil existential, of course, that's already being beyond what we what we deal with no in in or on earth no kasi medyo transcendental na siya mas mataas na siya kaysa sa mundo all right but here you have the different types of intelligences okay so the correct choice here not included in your logical mathematical skills would be storytelling no? verbal linguistics siya number eight, what kind of parents can most likely foster a sense of responsibility among children letter a permissive letter b autocratic letter C, democratic, or letter D, neglecting what is our choice. Mm -hmm. Okay, letter C, I see letter C is for number eight. Okay, yung hint mo dito, foster sense of responsibility. What can foster a sense of responsibility? That means magiging responsable yung inyong anak. Okay? All right, letter C and letter C is indeed the right choice. And democratic, that means you are giving your child freedom. No, hindi siya napaka-pampered na nagiging dependent na yung estudyante or yung anak mo sa'yo. No, you are giving your, your child the freedom. No? So most of the time, try to give your child the freedom. Uh, basta hindi lang bawal, basta hindi lang tabu, po pwede po. No? Uh, basta andyan ka pa rin to guide your child or your students. Na wag namang pabayaan. Okay? Now remember the four different types of parenting. No? So authoritative, authoritarian. Remember yung authoritative mo, this is democratic. So ayan siya na democratic and authoritative. There's clear expectations, there's definite rules, but you are supportive. No? They know the rules, but you are also supporting them to explore. No? So you are also giving them the leeway to explore, to be themselves. That would be authoritative or democratic your authoritarian is the same as your autocratic autocratic and authoritarian parehas po uh, remember bad si area no so high expectations din siya uh, pero walang support no disiplina lang lahat rules lang lahat walang suporta okay so very strict si nanay very strict si tatay hindi makagalaw si si anak no so um, hindi siya makapagsabi ng kanyang opinion Okay, so in that way, hindi din magkakaroon ng sense of responsibility yung bata kasi yung bata, minamandoan mo lang. Okay? Uh, permissive, choice A mo din, no? low expectations, excessive responsiveness. Lahat ng um, desisyon nasa bata, you permit the child to do whatever it is that he or she would want to do. Okay? Ikaw na bahala. Sige anak, go lang anak. Kaya mo yan anak. YOLO anak. Walwal -wal, anak. Alright? So yan yung permissive. No? So so, walang, um, wala pong control. Walang control. You permit. You permit the child of what he or she would want to do. No? So, ito yung usually yung mga, yung mga nagiging spoil yung mga anak. Now, may common question sa let na ano yung ano yung category na mga sobrang friendly na teachers? Yung sobrang friendly mo na teachers would be permissive. Okay, so permissive. Walang uh, rules, no? Walang rules. Ang involved mo naman, wala din siyang support, ha? Katulad ng inyong permissive. Pero yung pagkaka... Uh, sorry, no? Yung low expectations, I mean, katulad ng inyong permissive. Yung permissive mo, low expectations, pero maraming support. Okay? So, go lang ng go. Ang uninvolved naman, wala nang support, ha? Wala pang expectations. Bahala ka dyan sa buhay mo, no? Kahit magutom ka, bahala ka. So, you're uninvolved, neglecting parents, detached parents. These are some other words. No? So, kung kayo po ay magtitake ng let, dapat po alam ninyo na yung democratic is uh, authoritative at yung autocratic is authoritarian. At dapat din alam nyo na ang uninvolved, neglecting, and detached ay pare-parehas. Okay? Pare-parehas. 
All right, so the correct choice is letter C, democratic. We go to question number nine. In the factors or in the four factors of Bandura social learning theory, what influence do teachers and parents have on the young? Letter A, social persuasion. Letter B, mastery experience. Letter C, emotional states. Or letter D, vicarious experience. What is our choice? Mm-hmm. ICDs, we are talking about Bandura social learning theory. Anong influensya meron yung mga guro at mga magulang? Okay, what's the influence of the teachers and the parents? Okay, number nine, ICDs. All right, so going back again, Bandura social learning theory, what influence do teachers and parents have on the young? The correct choice here is letter D, vicarious experience. Letter D po ang tumpak na choice, okay? So this falls under the self-efficacy by Bandura, no? Self-efficacy, that means um, whatever the child has learned, enough para masustain niya, enough para mag-learn mag -learn siya, at enough din para maging independent yung bata, okay? So these are the four different factors. The first one is mastery experience. When you say mastery experience, mismong siya yung naka-experience, okay? So mismong siya ang naka-experience. Past successes or past failures impacts one self-efficacy. So maaring yung mga na-experience niyang success um, in the past or failures in the past would impact the eff efficacy of the students. No? So pag palagi siyang sinasaktan, for example, or palagi siyang pinapalitan, palaging iniiwan ng jowa, no? it can impact his or her efficacy. Okay, So that's mastery experience. Vicarious experience, ito yung ating inahanap. Ito ay success and failures of relatable figures. So parents, teachers, those people who have influence over the child. Na? So hindi siya mismo. When you say vicarious, another person has experienced it. Hindi ikaw mismo. Hindi direct ang ikaw. Now, verbal per persuasion or social persuasion, ito yung pep talk na sin tinatawag na motivating talk, encouraging talk, na verbal persuasion. So it's very important that you are um, persuading your child, you are encouraging your child. And affective state naman from the term itself, affect effective no physical and mental health feelings kumbaga feelings ng bata so hindi po pwedeng uh, binubuli mo yung bata or um emotionally abusive yung isang magulang or isang teacher sa bata okay so these are the different factors uh, involved in the social learning theory by bandura and also self efficacy no under den kay bandura okay so we were looking for letter d vicarious we go to number 10. Which of the following has higher importance than the rest as to best practice of a professional teacher? Sabi ni Sir Luigi, buti na lang, ako di iniwan. Kasi walang jowa. Oh, again, if you are still um, asking about the annex, no, the annexes, I will be uh, adding them sa ating pong groups. All right, letter A, competency supported by continuing growth. Letter B, appearance as a teacher in dress and attire. Letter C, loyalty to the school by years of service. Or letter D, regularity in class attendance. Uh, alin dito yung pinaka-importante when we are talking about a professional teacher? Okay. The correct choice here, of course, would be letter A, competency supported by continuing growth. Okay, so your uh, CPD, no, continuing professional development. Kaya tayo, um, as teachers, hindi tayo po pwedeng umayaw kahit na expert teacher ka na, matagal ka na, mag -re retire ka na, hindi po po pwedeng umayaw sa mga uh, trainings and seminars because especially since uh, hindi naman stagnant yung ating world, no, ang mundo 
mundo natin ay nagbabago, maraming pagbabago, the the world is dynamic and so we should also be as dynamic as um, the society, okay? So kung may pagbabago sa society, dapat tayo nag-grow din as teachers. All right? Number 11, in a multiple choice test, what are the choices that correspond to the list of concepts? Letter A decoys, letter B contrast, letter C opposites. Or letter D, alternatives. What's your choice? 11. Okay, number 11. Ano po ang ating hinahanap? Number 11. What's your choice? Okay, I see the 